Mark Sutter, 254 p.m. heading north on Interstate 95, just north of Walterboro, South Carolina. Taking a look at the Euro here from the Tropical Titbit site, 12Z run out to five days. Uh, no reason to really go beyond five days because that's as far as the Hurricane Center forecast goes. So let's take a look at what we've got. You see Dorian comes in uh, moving northwest and then it dips to the southwest a little bit there, slowing down pretty significantly in the Northwest Bahamas, right off the coast of Miami and Biscayne Bay there. And it's just a matter of what happens with that little shortwave energy that's trying to come through right up there. You can see that right there, that shortwave energy comes in and thins this area right through here. See that, it makes it thinner. It thins it out, so there's not as much uh, high pressure to force Dorian on a more westerly course at any great speed. So the Euro starting to look like what we have seen with the GFS, and that is a suggestion of a slower track approaching Florida, and then possibly uh, going slow enough that it kind of comes up the coast and then it'll be a matter of when and where does the ridge build in as this shortwave energy moves out what happens after that and you know you can look at the run yourself and see days six seven eight nine ten but just keep in mind I mean come on we're talking about figuring this out three to five days out you really want to look and see and figure out what's gonna happen and worry about day six seven eight nine ten do so at your own risk uh, as long as you know what you're looking at there and remember that it is subject to tremendous errors, tremendous errors, and this is definitely going to change. All right, so I'm only a few hours from Wilmington. I will post uh, an update this evening just to get you up to date on all the stuff that's going on related to Dorian after the five o'clock advisory package from the National Hurricane Center, and we'll take it from there. Remember. They do four forecasts per day, the 11 p.m., the 5 a.m., the 11 a.m., and the 5 p.m., full advisory packages, and that's a lot more to go. We still have uh, two more today, and then four more starting tomorrow, and so forth and so on. So that's a lot of information every six hours trying to figure all this out with Hurricane Dorian. All right, that's what I know right now as it stands, almost 3 p.m. There you go. Tried to keep this under three minutes. Mark Sadath, HurricaneTrack.com from I-95. I'll have more for you early this evening.